What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about how to choose a color palette for your graphic design poster. Putting together a color palette is essential in creating an effective poster. So here are five tips to remember when choosing your color palette. Number one, understand the purpose of the poster. Before choosing a color palette, it's very important to understand the purpose and message that the poster is trying to send. Are you trying to communicate a sense of urgency, excitement? Are you asking for a call to action? Are you promoting a specific product or event? Different color combinations can evoke different emotions and and communicate different messages altogether. Number two, research color theory. Color theory is the study of how colors interact with each other and how they can be used to create a certain mood or feeling. Familiarizing yourself with color theory will help you make more informed decisions and will improve your designs by leaps and bounds. Number three, choose a dominant color. Start by selecting the dominant color of your poster. Now this could be the brand color that you're working with or depending on what you're trying to communicate, you may choose like a red or a blue. It just depends on what you're trying to put together. Make sure that you choose a color that reflects the mood that you're trying to convey. And if you're having to start with a brand color, make sure that you choose colors that go with that. And that leads us into number four, selecting accent colors. Once you have your dominant color set, choose two to three accent colors to support that color. These can be used to add visual interest and also draw attention to the main color itself. It can also help to draw attention to specific design elements. And number five, test and adjust. After choosing your color palette, throw those colors onto the poster and see how they work together. Test it out by creating a very loose mock-up of the poster. Make any necessary adjustments and make sure that the colors work well together as well as help communicate your message. And also remember, the background of your poster will heavily influence the overall look and feel of your design. There are several online tools where you can go and create your own color palettes. And I'll link a few of those down in the description. My favorite is color.adobe.com. All right, so take these principles and go out there and create some awesome posters. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.